mission. Three, two, one. Go yeah, yo, yeah, it's your boy, Fried Chicken. And this is a domination game on Resistance, I think. Yeah, I think this is Resistance. So this is part of my Osprey Gunner Madness series where I get first blood in the duplex right here. Um, so this series is going to be on my solo channel. You're probably already here. Um, and basically I'm going to be showing you good ways to get the Osprey Gunner and good ways to use the Osprey Gunner. You know, during uh, every map that I could possibly get it on. I want to do all the maps, but we'll see. So, uh, w first thing is going to be kill streak setup, I think. You know, I mean, you can look at your gun setup, but I mean, if you're comfortable with whatever you like to use, PM901, comfortable with the, I was about to say intervention, the MSR, you can get the Osprey Gunner. You know, but if you don't have it turned on, you're not gonna get it. If you don't have the right uh, point streak or kill streak set up, oh, look at that stick right on the dome. If you don't have the right point streak set up, then you're not gonna make it to the Osprey Gunner as efficiently as some people will. So, what I like to do is I like to really pace myself on my way to getting the Osprey Gunner. My setup that I'm running is AH6 Overwatch Pavo Osprey Gun. There's a few reasons why I'm running that setup, and I'll tell you in just a second. So, my, and you see me trip that Claymore. I mean, that's something that's really nice to do, um, not only for yourself, but for your teammates. I see that all too much where there's a Claymore or there's a motion sensor. And teammates just let it sit there, even though they know it's there. Uh, what the? What is that? You know, you're trying to help your team. You see the other player, you know, the enemy players, you know, trying to kill your teammates, help out. And for some reason, when I picked up this M4A1 with this red dot and this uh, sight, dude, it killed so fast, and it was like auto zoom. I don't know if you want to go back and look at the kills I've gotten with it already, but this M4A1 was, it had, they had to be cheating. Whoever had this gun on had to modify the gun in the game where if you actually use this gun, you were cheating. Um, I even get a headshot while completely flashed. And watch this. Just look at, look how quickly this gun kills and look at how accurate it is. And dude, I'm not that accurate. So anyway, my point streak setup, the reason I have it is because it's really nice to be able to um, get to your Overwatch and feel almost 100% secure that you're going to get your Osprey gun. If you can get those nine kills without any kill streak, you know, to help you, other than the, your other team's kill streaks, and why wasn't that assisted suicide? Don't know, but he came back, gave my Overwatch. If you can get that, then you are most likely going to be able to get to the Oscar. Now right here, I was really nervous because they were on top of C and it seems like, you know, we were spawn trapped, but I don't know if they were approaching us or what. And it glitched out right there, but what happened was I saw that sniper and I quickly backed off. Um, you do not want to fight a sniper from that range. <laughs> with a SMG with a column and watch how I check this upper level before I just run up here I don't want to end my streak so I'm checking this upper level I'm staying aimed down sight and I end up getting the guy I mean I knew he was there I knew it was bound to be somebody in that field so just being careful where it counts is it's really important and I end up getting my payload so this part, I'm going to be a little bit slow because your payload will generally go right into your 17 kill and you will get the Osprey Gunner. So you don't want to rush it once you have the payload. It's just stupid. You know, you only need five more kills. But, you know, you want to kind of pace yourself. Go fast when you need to go fast. 
and slow down when you need to slow down. Now here, this spot is really good for dropping your care packages. One thing that I like to do is drop my care packages near where I'm laying down to get my Osprey gun. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you uh, place that target on that version of the minimap when you have the Osprey gun is you don't want to place the packages where the other enemy is spawning. So this other team had B and A. I don't want to put my care packages on their side of the map. That's just stupid. And I've seen some really good commentators who get Osprey Gunners they actually put their care packages on top of the flag that the enemy is holding. I don't understand it. So there's two reasons why you don't want to do it. One, you don't want the enemy to take your care package. Um, you, those packages are for your team. You want to get share package points. You want to allow your team to uh, build up you know, their confidence and to help them win the game. That's one thing. You want to preserve those care packages. Second thing is the Osprey Gunner cannot shoot at anything that's right beneath. Keep that in mind. If something is right underneath the Osprey Gunner, it cannot successfully shoot at it. The Osprey Gunner is way better at shooting at stuff from a distance. So if the enemy gets right underneath your Osprey Gunner, they're pretty safe. That's So you don't want to put your care packages right over the top of their spawn because the first 10 seconds or so of the Osprey Gunner is this, you know, getting closer to the ground so it can drop those packages. And you're not going to be kill be able to kill anybody at that time if you put the packages on top of their spawn because they're right underneath the, the Osprey Gunner and you won't be able to shoot them. So you do put it a distance away from the enemy. That way you can shoot across the map and get a good angle on them. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I'm going to give you an alternative to running the setup that I'm running. You know, the A6 Overwatch is really nice because it will help you clean up those guys that you're not completely confident with killing. It may put a couple bullets into them, somebody that you're already shooting at, which will, you know, net you to kill. Um, another thing that's really good about the setup that I'm running is once you get the payload from your A6 Overwatch, the payload can be in the air simultaneously with your Overwatch. Um, I guess I can use that for things you may not know, which I might, but I mean, I've already said it here, so I don't know if it's really useful. So keep that in mind. You're going to have two pieces of air support up at once. One following in around the map, one very strong air support system that's going around and killing anybody that moves almost instantly. The payload kills almost instantly. So that's that's not. And then that payload is a 12 kill streak. So you only need five more kills. It's not going to be very difficult to get as long as you don't completely rush the enemy and do stupid stuff. You're going to be able to get to your Osprey gunner. But there's an alternative to running uh, uh, the point streak set up towards the Osprey gunner. And that's running slightly lower kill streaks to begin with. That's like. Let's say you run 5, 7, 17. The cool thing about doing that is if you're good enough, you're going to get your 5 and your 7, which is still going to help your team even if you don't reach the Osprey Gunner. So that's kind of nice. If you set your kill streaks at Payload, Juggernaut, Osprey Gunner, and you get none of them, then you've missed out on helping your team with those one or two kills that you could have got if you would have had it set a little bit lower. So, you know, when I'm when I'm running with a team and I'm not doing so well and I see that maybe one or two games I didn't even get my kill streaks or I just got my overwatch, then what I'll do is I'll switch up my classes. I'll go to a support class where my kill streaks are lower, you know, so that I can actually help my team out so we can start uh you know, turning the tides on this other team. So that's something to keep in mind too. Running slightly lower kill streaks is fine. Uh, a 7-9, 17, or 7-12, 17 combo for point streaks is pretty good as well. So this is just part one on resistance. You've seen a good place to put it. You've seen my technique. I'll go back in the video and kind of watch. And this is hopefully going to help you get that Osprey Gunner, and we do win. So 
thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate and comment on the video. We love the feedback, and we're trying to grow the channel, so tell your friends about it. This has been Fried Chicken, 35 and 7. Peace out.